today we are going to learn with energy level diagram of conductor semiconductor and insulator these three types of material are applicable in all electronics devices so first we are going to understand about conductor this is energy level diagram of conductor this is valence band and this is conduction band valence band means all negative charges or electrons are already there so after turn on the supply this all electrons of valence band starts move to the conduction band that's why is called conductors that material allow to pass all electrons so in valence band and conduction band there is no any gap or we can say forbidden gap that's why electrons move easily to conduction band and another reason is there is no resistance in it very less resistance we can also say that and the example of the conductors are copper aluminum and some kind of liquids now we are going to understand about semiconductor this is energy level diagram of semiconductor there is conduction less than conductor and more than resistor is called semiconductor because it has a gap which is narrow gap it also called the forbidden gap so after one electro volt supply electrons starts move valence band to conduction band one important thing in the semiconductor are there are some holes also in valence band and some few electrons in conduction band so when one electron volt apply on the material hole and electrons going to bond holes means nothing but sum of space in the material so when electrons and holes bonding to each other current will pass there is high resistance than conductors but you want to move electrons valence band to conduction band you have to apply one electron volt in it okay now the example of sil uh, example of semiconductors are silicon and germanium next topic is insulator as you can see in energy level diagram there is a wide band gap there is require more than 5 electron volt to move valence band to conduction band in insulator as shown in the figure because of this valence band is wider so electron cannot move easily to valence band to conduction band so it's require more than 5 volt so it's kind of 6 to 10 electron volt when apply 6 to 10 electron volt valence band electrons are starts to move valence band to conduction band that's why there is no electron pass through the material when supply is on less than 6 to 10 volt so there is a higher resistance in the insulator and the example of insulators are wood plastic and paper i hope you understand the concept of conductor semiconductor and insulator thank you for watching